In today's video, we're gonna talk about fragrances that I am decluttering. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said in today's video, I will be decluttering some fragrances. So recently I did my huge fragrance collection. I will link those videos for you. I did two parts and a lot of you all saw how many fragrances I had. <laughs> and so when I counted, not even including like the fragrances that I didn't show y'all, I had a few that I didn't share with you all in that video just because they were a mess. I have since cleaned them up now, but I did not count them. However, not including those, I had 380 fragrances so that's a lot of fragrances and I got a lot of questions of people on those videos asking me like how do I not get overwhelmed and everything like that and I have to say I don't usually get overwhelmed with my fragrances like I just love trying new things I love to try new fragrances the only time I ever really feel overwhelmed is if a brand sends me something and I have an obligation to review it or if you all are asking me to review certain things and I have like a bunch of new stuff coming in, that's the only time I feel overwhelmed. So right now I'm currently on a fragrance no buy and I feel like this is a time that like I got a lot of fragrances at the end or the second half of 2023. So this is the time that I'm really looking to play with those and not buy anymore because I really wanna play with those. I'm more so limited because of space. Um, so anyway, but going through my collection, it always helps me kind of think about what fragrances are probably time for them to go. So I have quite a few fragrances to share with you all. This is going to be a very informal video, um, but I do have quite a few fragrances to share with you all. I typically declutter my fragrances on Mercari. So I always have that link down in the description box below, but I will also like link it up higher than I normally do. So those of you who are wanting to buy any of these fragrances, you can buy them from there. In the past when I've done these videos, a lot of you all have said, why didn't you share with us before you posted on Mercari? So now I try to do that. So we're doing this video and after this video goes live, these fragrances will go live on Mercari. So let's go ahead and get into the fragrances. So this first fragrance is from Maison Tahiti and this is Van Ecstasy. So this is a gorgeous like caramel vanilla fragrance. It is simple, but it's also really well done. It doesn't smell juvenile, even though I do consider it more of a gourmand vanilla the reason that this is leaving my collection is because y'all i have so many vanillas and this is one that i just feel like i don't need so usually when i wear this i feel like it's me making myself wear it because i need to as opposed to wearing it because i really want to and i think part of that is because with this fragrance when i purchased it i didn't expect it to smell like this i thought it was going to be more of a plain out vanilla like just a plain gourmand vanilla i didn't expect it to have those like caramel touches to it and because of that i kind of feel like it was always kind of on the back of my mind whether i should get rid of it or not so yeah unfortunately my time has passed with this fragrance but it is a gorgeous one so again that's the next to see from maison tahiti next up is nishane fan your flames and this one is one that i used to love i have a video all about this fragrance i used to be able to wear this and wear it well with confidence it is a boozy tobacco woody scent it also has coconut in it and it's just very unique but the last few times i've tried to wear this i felt that it smelled too manly on me and i don't really know where that's coming from y'all know i love unisex fragrances i wear some fragrances that lean more masculine and i'm okay with that i feel like i'm able to pull it off maybe because like my general like look is very womanly very feminine so i feel like a lot of times the masculine scents just kind of are a nice juxtaposition they give me a little bit of edge anyway <laughs> y'all don't care about all of that this fragrance is now feeling like it just doesn't smell like me it's still gorgeous but it just doesn't smell like me now this one i'm not sure if i'm going to list on mercari i might give this to my husband because i still really like the way it smells i just don't like the way it smells on me so this may be on mercari but it may not be no promises i'm gonna see if he likes it and if he likes it then i'll give it to him but if not it'll go up on mercari so again that is nishane fan your flames 
Also from Nishane, I have Fan Your Flames X. So this is the new version of Fan Your Flames. And I got this blindly, which was stupid, <laughs> but I got it blindly just hoping that it would be a more feminine version of Fan Your Flames. Because even though these are the X versions, some of them were a little bit dialed back. So initially, the two X versions that I got from Nishane are Ani and 100 Silent Ways. And particularly with Ani X, I find it easier to wear or probably more crowd pleasing than the original Ani. So I was hoping this was gonna go that route too. However, this one smells like they added weed, marijuana <laughs> to the original Fan Your Flames. And to me, it smells even more masculine than the original Fan Your Flames. And I don't really like the way this smells. So this one I will be listing. I have heard a lot of great things about it, especially from men, but it just does not work for me. So again, that's Fan Your Flames X from Nishane. Next up is a fragrance that I have tried to declutter <laughs> multiple times, or I put it up for sale and change my mind and put it up and change my mind, but I'm finally just deciding to be done with it. This is from Killian and this is Roses on Ice. So this is part of the liquors collection and I believe that the liquor that this is kind of centered around is gin, um, one of Killian Hennessy's wife's favorite drinks is what it's centered around. I like the opening of this. To me, when this opens up, it smells like cucumber. And a lot of people don't like that, but I actually really love the opening of this. My problem with this is after it dries, it just becomes too like floral and not a floral that I'm really a fan of. To me, the gin mixed with the floral just kind of makes it smell like, just not like me. And it's not an unpleasant smell. It's actually a nice smell. I just don't like it for myself. I wish that this stayed how it was in the opening, which was more of like a cucumber gin, little bit of florals in the background. But unfortunately, by the time this dries down on my skin, it becomes a little bit too floral for me and I'm just not into it. So again, that is Roses on Ice by Killian. This next fragrance is from Frank Beauclair and this is Vanille. So this fragrance is one of those fragrances that I purchased because everybody said how similar it was to Zerjoff Lyra, which I already have Lyra, I love Lyra, and it is similar. And the reason I bought it is because I wanted to see how it smelled. I was curious, it wasn't that expensive. I like to be able to give my opinions on these sort of like similar fragrances for you all. So this one I took for the team. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have bought it because I already love Lyra. And I have other fragrances that are in that same vein that I tend to to go for more. So this is like Zerjoff Lyra. However, to me, this kind of smells like it has more of an orange note to it. So it smells like a lemon orange mix. And then that like sugary caramel cookie vibe as well. So not a bad fragrance. It's just not one that I ever reach for. So again, that is Frank Beauclay Vanille. This next fragrance is from The Seven Virtues and this is Vanilla Woods. Now I've had this fragrance for a while and you can see I've used it. Like even my juice has darkened. However, I just feel like now the amount of vanillas that I have in my collection, I don't need this. This to me smells like a nice, gourmand leaning vanilla it is sweet but it's not like cupcakey and then i feel like i can pick up some pear in this fragrance and to me it kind of rem reminds me of jean paul gaultier labelle which i have labelle and previously i decluttered labelle <laughs> but i repurchased it again so i have labelle i don't wear that one that much but i still want to keep it however this one smells to me kind of like labelle but I don't need two labels. <laughs> Even though I had this one first, I do prefer label over this and I feel like they're just so similar that when I wanna reach for like a pear type vanilla, I'd rather go for label. Or if I'm yearning for really like more pear, I would rather go for Armour's Intense from A.I. the Great and Nabitus Parfum. So it's just time for me to say goodbye to this. It's a nice fragrance and one that I recommend for people because it's not that expensive. I just think I'm over it. So again, that's Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. The next fragrance I have is from Imaginary Authors and this is A Whiff of Waffle Cone. Now this is a fragrance that I wanted since it first came out, but y'all, I just do not wear it. I do not wear this. You can see I don't really have much of a dent. And it's a nice fragrance. I really enjoy it. It is sweet. It is gourmand. It smells like you're in an ice cream shop. So you smell those waffle combs cooking. However, 
I really just don't reach for this. And now that I have Monty Kasana from Navitus and Sharita M, they are not dupes, but I feel like if I wanted to go for this type of fragrance, I would prefer to go for Monty Kasana because to me, Monty Kasana smells like a more vanillic version of this. It has a little bit of woodiness to it. And to me, it just smells more well done than this one. Not saying that this one is not well done, I'm just saying. Monte Cristo not to me is more up my alley than this and I know that if I want that type of scent I'm not gonna go for this one so yeah again this is imaginary authors a whiff of waffle cone the next fragrance is a fragrance that I used to love but now that my collection has grown I really don't use it so this is from Zara and this is rich warm addictive so to me this smells like a sweet honey tobacco scent and it smells quite sugary like this is very sweet this is definitely like a beginner tobacco. And although this is part of their tobacco collection, if I remember correctly, they don't even list tobacco as a note in this fragrance. However, to me, it smells like a sweet honey tobacco with maybe like brown sugar, maybe a little bit of booziness. It's really well done. It doesn't smell like a Zara fragrance to me. It's just not in my vibe anymore. It's too sweet. It's not enough tobacco. And I just feel like I don't need this. I almost kept decided to keep this around as a linen spray. <laughs> because I do like the smell of it, but I really don't want to wear it. However, I have a tobacco linen spray, so I don't need this. Like, I'm just gonna let this go. I'm sure there's somebody who wants this because this was very, very popular at one time, thanks to Demi Rawling mentioning it. So yeah, this is gonna go. So again, that is Rich Warm Addictive from Zara. This next fragrance is from Skylar, and this is Vanilla Sky. So this fragrance is one that I really, really liked when I first got it. It is a gourmand fragrance and it, to me it kind of smells like a caramel latte type fragrance. It is lightweight so I find that this is actually a good recommendation for somebody who's trying to get into gourmands and they want something easy going because this is not too heavy or too thick but it does stand up like it holds its own it's not a skin scent but to me this is like an easier to wear literal gourmand fragrance. However <laughs> gourmands I feel like I don't need this and especially now that I have a more cafe from Mansara that gives me those coffee sweet gourmand vibes I feel like I just don't need this and yeah I haven't worn this in probably a year so yeah it's time for it to go again that's Skylar Vanilla Sky this next fragrance is from Layered. I'm not even sure if they're called Layered or Be Layered anymore. I'm really not sure, but this is Geneva Chocolate. This is one of their single note fragrances that really just smells like chocolate. It smells good, it's great for layering. However, I have Chocolate Greedy from Montal and I prefer that one over this one. So this one's gonna go bye-bye. So again, that is Geneva Chocolate from Layered. This next fragrance is from YSL and this is Lieb Eau de Toilette. Now this fragrance is one that in theory I love. I love the smell of this. This is, it has that Lieb DNA. So it has the lavender, it has the vanilla, it has the orange blossom. Um, however, everything in this one is much softer. And then this also has some sort of tea note in it that gives it this relaxing vibe. I've just found that a lot of tea fragrances I like to smell them but not wear them and I don't know what it is maybe it's my body chemistry but I'm gonna slow down on getting any more tea fragrances I have like two that I really enjoy and that is Wulong Cha from Nishane and Matcha Meditation from Replica I don't feel like I need any more tea fragrances oh I also have Gucci Memoir de Un Odor <laughs> And I don't feel like I need any more tea fragrances. I'm just gonna slow my roll on tea fragrances because I find that every time I get them, if I enjoy the smell, I just like to smell them, but I do not want to smell like them. So this is a gorgeous fragrance, but I'm tired of just hoarding it. So again, that is YSL Lieb Eau de Toilette. This next fragrance is from Tom Four, and this is Bois Moroccan. So this is a woody scent that I picked up on a whim. I was not looking for this. I saw it for a great deal in store, smelled it, asked my husband what he thought of it. Both of us liked it. And yeah, I don't even know if I've worn this one time. <laughs> I don't know if I've worn it one time. It is woody. To me, the woods in here smell like cedar um, and probably like sandalwood, like a cedar sandalwood mix, but it's not too sharp. It is quite kind of clean, fresh woody smelling. And I think it's perfectly unisex, but for some reason, I just never want to wear this. And if I'm in the mood to wear a woody smelling scent like this, I would much prefer a Ben Fume from Tom Ford as well, or Oud Wood or something like that. I just 
I just don't need this. So yeah, it's gonna go bye-bye. So again, that's Bois Moroccan from Tom Ford. This next fragrance is from Maison Margiela Replica and this is Jazz Club. So this is a very popular fragrance and I know my bottle looks busted, but that is because my initial bottle for this broke and so I ordered a bottle from Amazon and just put in a hair and stuck the label on the outside. And honestly, if it wasn't for the packaging, I probably would have got rid of this fragrance a long time ago because for some reason it just, I just don't jive with it. Like if you look at the notes, it sounds like all the things I love. I think it's like tobacco, it's smoky, it's boozy. It smells like a jazz club, but it's just not me. For some reason on my skin, whenever I've worn this, I feel like it leans too masculine, which I don't know why, because I have a ton of these types of fragrances, but this one just does not work for me. And I don't know if I'm gonna sell this. I know when I showed my collection video, I kind of mentioned that I wanna get rid of this, and some of you all offered to buy it, even in this bottle. So I'm gonna, again, ask my husband, because I like the smell of it, I just don't like it on me, but if my husband doesn't want it, then I will list it for sale. So if you're interested, check out my Mercari. I don't know if it's gonna be there, but it may be. <laughs> so again, this is Jazz Club from Mason Margiela Replica. Next up is from YSL and this is Black Opium Illicit Green. So this is like the original Black Opium but with a fig note to it that gives it a little bit of extra greenness to it. <laughs> Not too much. To me, this is very, very similar to the original Black Opium. And when I got this, like I initially wore it because I was out of my regular Black Opium. However, I just don't find myself reaching for this anymore. And it's probably been over a year since I've worn it. So it's time for it to go. So again, that's Black Opium Illicit Green. Next up, I have three fragrances from M. Mikalef. And this first one is Note Vani, which I've heard about for years. It's something I wanted for years, but y'all, I just don't get it. It's a vanilla fragrance. It's supposed to be boozy. It has some muskiness to it. But when I smell it, to me, it smells overwhelmingly musky and more like animalic musk. Like to me, it smells almost like dirty skin. And the last time I tried to wear this, I felt like it made me feel a little bit sick to my stomach. And I like musky scents, even some animalic musk. But this one, I just don't, I, I don't get it. I don't like it. A ton of people do. So I guess I'm in the minority on this, but it's time for me to let it go. I'm tired of trying to make it work. So again, that is Note Vanille from M. Mikalef. The next one from M. Mikalef is Elaine and Gold. And this fragrance, I like. I really love the smell of it. It smells like a tropical floral with some vanilla sweetness to it and some coconut. And the, the tropical florals in here definitely give off a banana vibe. I actually took this with me when I went to Jamaica in December and I wore it. And I did enjoy it, but I would say that if I had another fragrance that was a tropical fragrance that I took with me to that trip, I would have picked that one over this one. <laughs> So even though this is beautiful, it's just not really for me. Like I have other tropical coconut florals in my collection that I would prefer. I also don't like this has the gold specks in it because it doesn't really spray out that evenly. So you get like spots of gold over your arms. And I feel like I really can't spray my clothes with this because of the gold specks. So yeah, I would definitely consider smelling this again, like in the nectar version to see if it's stronger. And if they remove the gold flakes from this, I think this would be something I may like revisit but as of right now I'm just tired of trying to make it work so again that is Elang and Gold by M. Mikalef and since I was decluttering those two I figured I would just go ahead and declutter this one too <laughs> this is so Le Passion from M. Mikalef this is a pomegranate scent it is beautiful fruity floral but again it's just not me so yeah I don't think M. Mikalef as a house is just going to work for me their scents are beautiful I just don't feel like they resonate with me and yeah, I feel like this one will be one that like, I've literally worn this maybe like once or twice and I've had it probably close to two years. So I feel like it's just time for me to let it go. Nothing wrong with the scent, I just don't love it. So again, that's Soleil Passion from M. Mikalef. This next fragrance is from Dossier and this is Powdery Hawthorne. So this is a dupe for Tom Ford Metalique and I have to say it is a great dupe for it. However, I have Metalique. <laughs> And I have a backup bottle of Metalik, so I don't need this one. 
So I was just holding on to this saying, oh, maybe I'll use this when I don't want to spray my tongue for it. But yeah, that never really happens. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. But it is a rather good dupe. It's that warm vanilla mixed with the cold metal vibes. And yeah, it smells really good, just like Metalik. So again, that's Powdery Hawthorne from Dossier. This next fragrance is and, and I do have like some more like travel sizes in here but i'm not gonna talk about them but if you're interested definitely check out my mercari i just don't want this video to go on so long talking about stuff that's leaving but i will talk about this one because i feel like this one is kind of a popular one it's one that i wanted to try for forever but it's just not my vibe so this is from armani Privé, and this is vert malachite i don't know why i'm showing y'all the bottle but here we are <laughs> I just don't think that these fragrances are my vibe. This is another tropical yellow floral scent. I believe Ylang Ylang and Frangipani are the top florals in this fragrance. And it's pretty, it's pretty, it's tropical, but it's just not my vibe. The other fragrance that I got rid of that I feel like this smells similar to was Eau Jaune Intense from Fragrance Dubois. And again, pretty, just not my vibe. They just don't they don't do it for me like i would appreciate smelling this on somebody else but not myself and typically like i would probably just hold on to this but i don't want to wear it and it's an expensive fragrance so i figure i would go ahead and give one of y'all a good price on this um so you can try it out <laughs> so again that is vert malachite from armani Privé. so those are the fragrances that are leaving my collection let me know if you've tried any of these what do you think of them are they on your wish list i mean we we can agree to disagree like sometimes fragrances will work for you and they don't work for me and that is okay we all have different tastes so i'm not saying any of these fragrances are horrible i'm just saying they didn't work for me so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i upload videos every sunday wednesday and friday so i have tons of content you can check out also check out my website it's www.simplyaisha.com get on my email list over there so that we can stay in contact that way as well if you want to connect with me more, follow me on Instagram. I'm in my stories almost every day and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs. Also, I recently got a TikTok, so follow me over on TikTok where I do fun, easygoing content. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.